What is up, Affected, and welcome to Sunday's Pop Vault. That's right. This is episode two, or part two of the Pop Vault, and what we're doing here is we're trying to get my damn pop collection under control. Basically, I have a lot of pops. I don't know how many I have, and sometimes my dumb ass, I buy doubles. One time I got triples, but it was not my fault. I, the triple ones happened because of um, pop in a box. I will always blame pop in a box for that issue because, um, yeah, I mean, they were already crossed out of my... I'm not getting into it. You know what? I'm not getting into it. Uh, so we're going to talk about pops. If you guys don't like pops, then DC is not the show for you. You know what? Look, the chat's not working again. What is that? There's something off with this. What is up with this? came back now didn't it I don't know what that is I don't know why it does that that is the only time I've ever seen it do this but anyway there it goes and now it's now it's a white background oh <laughs> uh, well you know what we'll just we'll deal with it tonight and I'll figure it out later and, and it kind of I don't know the, the white kind of offsets with the top pop vinyl up there but anyway so we're trying to get to the bottom of it, trying to figure out how many pops I have so that way I can keep myself in order and all that kind of stuff. I mean, look at that. And even the damn uh, view counter is not working. Why? Why is it not holding itself? I don't understand. That's really weird. There it goes. I don't know. That's weird. Christopher! Thank you so much for that, my man. Uh, good to see you. That's right. It is Sunday. If anybody wants to question me, um, just just remember it is Sunday. All right. So let's start off the pop talk tonight um, with pretty damn big one. Um, this is uh, Balsalik. I'm not a big Harry Potter fan, but when I came across um, the Harry Potter snake that's a Target exclusive, I had to pounce. I had to have it just just because of the simple fact that it is a Target exclusive. Still in the box, didn't open this one, and I'm not quite sure how I'm going to start doing the bo the pops that I have out of the box. I'm, I'm not sure yet. So we're going to have to dive into that a little bit later. But right now, all the pops tonight are going to be um, all boxed up, ready to go. But yeah. You watch SNL last night? So... Uh, F and fun. That's right. That's right. Because last night was Saturday. Yep. One hundred percent. All right. So let's find out what uh, this fella is worth, according to Stashpedia. All right. So this guy's trending value right now is forty-five doll hairs, which isn't bad because I bought this retail, and I think retail that thing uh, paid eighteen. So that's a pretty good profit on that one so far. Tonight's collection is starting out very well, whereas at last week, a brand new pop that I'd only purchased two damn weeks ago was like $3, worth $3 less than normal value. I'm like, come on, I just bought it. All right, so that one's starting off good. All right, the next one, this is from um, Netflix's Glow, and of course, that is Ruth Wilder, and I really love the, the Glow series. I have not had a chance to pick up or to watch season two yet, but it is definitely on my to watch list. But yeah, Ruth Wilder from the series glows. Anybody else watch that? Or is it just me? And what the hell is falling out? Ooh, there we go. Ahoy hoy, what's going on? Uh Fallen's Angel descended from heaven. And of course, Mr. Showtime. Show. So these are, for anybody who doesn't know, these are uh strips that are put inside of items, not necessarily pops but put inside of items to keep people from stealing them. So these are de deactivated at the register. And uh, I guess this one just uh, fell out the bottom. So if you've never seen them, now you learn something. So anyway, Ruth from Glow. And actually, she's very top heavy. I about dropped her at that point. So let's find out um, what this lady is worth. There it is. $13. And on the bottom, I paid... Ten ninety nine, ha ha, dollar profit. <laughs> All right, whatever. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll, I'll take a dollar profit. All right. Next up, we've got is Clown Deadpool. 
Not a major super duper Deadpool fan. I'm more of a Deadpool fan for Freddy's Ready rather than the actual like comic book version. I think the movies were really good, but other than that, man, I am not as obsessed with Deadpool as the rest of the United States or world or whatever the hell it is. Because if you ever go to a convention, it is thousands and thousands of Deadpools. Which, I mean, if that's your ish, that's fine. I'm just, I was not that super into Deadpool, you know. But anyway, I thought the Deadpool clown was pretty damn cool. Uh, too cocky, looks like you've recovered and want to get, there you go, too cocky. There he is. Like I said, I'm more, more of a fan of Red Machine than the actual Deadpool, just because I love the way Freddy plays it. Speaking of that, if you guys have not followed Freddy's Ready, you need to on Twitch, YouTube, all social medias. Um, Freddy, interesting enough that you're here, man. Um, this weekend I was cleaning out my top filing cabinet, trying to make room for all my flags, bragging. And I came across a relic record sticker, um, that was obviously was still at the back on it, but it just, it, it made me think about it. I was like, man, is, is relic Records still rolling? Is it still good? Uh, you'll be happy when you check kiss pop price. Yeah. But the only one I got is a star child. I don't, I don't have the other one and see up there. Those are the ones I've had for a while, and those are the ones I think have the most value. Dust finally settles. Uh, Freddy's ready. 200! All right, so let's find out uh, what the uh, clown Deadpool is going for. He is, On the bottom, it shows that I paid $11, and he is trending at $8. <laughs> uh fail epic fail on my part but you know it's it's part of the pop game uh good jizz freddy was quick yeah freddy got uh, dildos for fingers bitch uh what's going on lethal how you doing man lethal cooney lethal cooney lethal cooney good to see you buddy hope all is well in lethal land you going down bro dual twisted uh-oh uh-oh all right, next off the bat, this one is, it says Gamerverse, but I have never seen these outside of a GameStop. So it says Gamerverse, but not a GameStop exclusive. Uh, Spider-Man, of course, from the brand new Marvel Spider-Man game, which I still want to get. This one is still on my to-get list. Everybody that played it says straight up Spider-Man's Alley. It's fan damn -tastic. I actually remember picking this up. I walked in and it was on a display with like hats and t-shirts and things like that. And I was like, Spider-Man pop? You mean my love of Spider-Man? Hell yeah. I do know that the Marvel Legends figure for this outfit is like astronomical, man. Just stupid pricey. So let's find out what this one's for. Or not. Trending value, 13 doll hairs. That's what you get for touching my belt, fool. <laughs> uh, what was it? Uh, done, son. So yeah, 13 bucks. Now this is all according to Stashpedia. And even Stashpedia does not have a full library of pops. So it's, it's all hit or miss. And again, it is in the eye of whoever wants to buy it. The trending value says eight or 13 or 75, but if someone's not willing to pay that, then it's not worth anything. Uh, hell yeah, Twisted didn't accept the fight. Damn, damn. All right, so next we have uh, Toys R Us exclusive, Toys R Us exclusive, Teen Titans Go Cyborg, but as the Green Lantern. I think that anybody who has a television with some kind of cable devices is exposed to Teen Titans Go, the cartoon version. That runs 24-7, 364 days a year on Cartoon Network. That's all they play. There's thousands of cartoons in this world that they could be playing. Flintstones, Jetsons, I don't know, Bananas in Pajamas. But all they play is MoFo and Teen Titans Go. I mean, if your kids are, are desensitized and that's all they watch, fine. But it's time to pick them up and get them to watch something else. So that way Cartoon Network goes away from playing that all the damn time. But I love the mashup. That's why I picked it up. The fact that it's a Toys R Us exclusive is a double down for me. But yeah, absolutely badass. And these are the other mashups that you can get. I wonder if Canadian Toys R Us exclusive will go up now. I don't know. I don't know. 
But yeah, kind of cool. Yeah, I, I like Green Lantern a lot, and Cyborg's pretty cool. So, double down. Let's find out what this fella's going for. Fourteen solid dollars. <laughs> and I think I paid more than that. I am pretty damn sure I paid more than that. So there we go, Cyborg. Um, yeah, there's there's a couple of um pop there there was a Canadian exclusive Marty McFly with a guitar that I never got, and I'm pretty sure that bastard is like gone with the wind. Um Showtime looks like he's recovered. Did you get any of the DC moments pops? DC moments. Is that like the um, is that like the Batman that's like up on the perch and stuff like that? I'm trying to think. What's going on, Tannis? Good to see you. Welcome back, buddy. Hey, it's Tannis. It is. Tannis is back. All right. Next we have uh, from the Care Bears. It is Good Luck Bear. Oh, look how Good Luck Bear he is so adorable. Good luck, Bear. Good luck to you all. This is St. Patrick's Day Bear. So St. Patrick's Day Bear will be uh, drinky drinking. There we go. Of course, these are the other ones. I'm actually waiting for the Care Bear Cousins to come out, man. I think I'm going to... I think I'm gonna go hard with that. Freddy's ready's recovered. Everybody seems to be recovered. All right. Uh, yeah, Batman on the perch, and then like there's one with like uh, Batman and Joker. Looks like this UPC is not in our database. Really, bro? Really? You're gonna make me fucking search automatically? You bastard. Um. But no, I, I have not got any of those. I've actually, I've cut back on my uh, pop buying really, really bad. There it is, right there. Uh, apparently, the thing is only worth nine dollars, nine doll hairs for that guy or girl. I can't remember. If Good luck, bears a girl or not. Um, no, I didn't. I, I'm trying to be good. I'm trying to be really good about like not buying excessive pops for no damn reason. You know, I'm trying to buy stuff that's only essential to the collection. Or, you know, like an absolute absolute necessity. By the way, this will be featured on Monday's show tomorrow. Because tomorrow is Monday, and right now is Sunday. Spoiler alert ahead of time. Duel show, duel. I bet you twice in a row show. There you go. All right, so we added Good Luck Bear. Uh, no, scan bar. Right, there we go. Uh, the dust finally settles, and show emerges victorious. But show did not win the PlayStation Championship. All right, next up on the thing is the Diamond Collection Hot Topic exclusive Bell. Whoa! Barzabi! What's going on, Barzabi? Appreciate you stopping in, dropping that follow. Much appreciated. So, yeah, the Hot Topic exclusive a Sparkly Bell. Absolutely love Belle. Fell in love with Belle. Fell in love with the voice and all that. The big doe eyes. Disney done got me. And I was like very susceptible when this came out. I was like 13 or something, you know. Freaking Belle comes up and like, oh, I need a beast. Yes, you do. So sparkly hot topic, Belle. What's there? It's true. Um, I don't know if Lethal knows how, man. Lethal was not here through the tutorial. He may not know. All right, so this one I have to enter in automatically because um, the, the Hot Topic put their own fucking barcode over it. All right, let's find out what this guy's going to go for, or this girl. My default is guy. All right, let's see. What is the difference? Oh, okay. All right, so the Diamond Collection Bell from Hot Topic is worth fifteen dollars, right? And this is this is like a year ago I got this fifteen dollars on the bottom. It says I paid fourteen fifty because Hot Topics is like super expensive, so it's worth the exact same, if not because of taxes, I lost money. So starting off really good with the Harry Potter snake was awesome and now we've just fallen from graces which i'm pretty sure was going to happen regardless like i i will always say this i said it i said it since like show one never collect for value collect for what you love the pops i do like i do enjoy them but trying to make value out of this is never going to be a go 
I didn't even see the challenge. Must be I have better things to do than to imagine myself beating my wiener on your face. Damn it. Damn it, Lethal. <laughs> uh, <laughs> not kidding. It sounds fun, Twisted. All right, next up, we've got a semi-damaged box. And that's something else that this app does not take an accounter for is pops outside of their box with no box. Also, damage to the box, severity, you know, if it's good or bad or it's, you know, acceptable, box shelfware, things like that. This is straight up like amazing condition pop boxes for this value. So it is very askew. Uh, but this is Ready Player One Hot Topic exclusive, Parzival, and he is the clear one. This one I saw a couple times and I bypassed it. And then I had to go back and purchase it off of eBay just because I thought it was just so badass for the clear one. By the way, for those of you pop collectors slash wrestling fans, Amazon has released a clear John Cena pop. And you better believe me, I, 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 got, the, I got that. I ordered it. Um, but like he's doing the you can't see me and I'm like, that is brilliant. It's brilliant for it. Like I'm an okay John Cena fan, but the pop is like more awesome to me than the everything else. Semi damaged, girl. It is. It is. It's got some right there. You can see the creases in the top. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, it's 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 in pretty good shape, you know, for being shipped all around right there. And this one was purchased for twelve fifty. And like I said, I bought it second hand, so I don't know what its actual true value is or, or what I actually paid for it. I don't remember. All right. And it's not going to scan as well, just because the, the hot topic barcode. Let's see. Um, I'm not all over that. Be right back. Uh Oh, I don't know. Something's going to happen. All right. The hot topic exclusive pars of all that's clear. Translucent is worth $10. Yeah. I think I paid more than $10 for it. At least with shipping, I paid more. So, yeah. Always collect for yourself. Never collect for value. Next up, another freaking hot topic. I, I just, all I do is I wheel them out, put them down, talk about them. That's it. I Sometimes they're uh, Chase Pops. Sometimes they're all Target. Like, it seems like episode one was all Target exclusives. And now it seems like it's all hot topic. But this is the Fallout. And this is for Fallout 4, by the way charisma and i remember these were mystery boxes so you didn't know what you're going to get you just had to just throw it up there and hope for the damn best still recovering for zero seconds <laughs> oh that sounds about right sounds about right dueling list with charisma animated skeleton toughness and medic and again I don't know. I don't know what I have. I have no idea, which is why we're doing this. So uh, let's find out what this fella is worth. As soon as we get pars of all out of there. There we go. And he is worth a whopping $11. Doesn't, uh, yeah, there it is. I guess it is right. So he's worth $11. And I know just being a hot topic, that was a mystery box. I paid at least $14 for it. So he's already lost value. Already lost value. Damn it. Damn it. All right, next. This one I actually got at a weird-ass local con. And uh, my man Red Walrus actually sent me the, uh, the counterpart to this fellow. But this is Tommy from Tommy Boy. And this is the fat man in a little coat. Target exclusive. Had to have it. And I believe now I have all three. It shows them on the back, of course, the Tommy with the uh, the brake pads. Come on. Come on, camera. Or don't. Whatever. Fuck. Mm -mm. All right. So it's got Tommy, Richard, and then Tommy, Fat Man, a little coat. Just pretend it did. Lethal is challenged two cockies. Butthole to a fight. <laughs> How did you do that? How did you challenge his butthole to a fight? Little French lady, little French lady's in France. Uh, Paris has a dedicated pop shop she will be visiting soon. What? That's awesome. So yeah, Tommy, targeted exclusive, fat man in a little coat. All right, let's find out what this uh, this fella is worth here. 
Because I know that I got a hell of a steal on it. I think I paid 15 bucks for it, something like that. And for a Target exclusive, it's not bad. And I know I paid cash, which means no tax came out. And he is worth $15. Yay! Broke even. <laughs> um, that's awesome, though. That's awesome she's visiting an exclusive pop shop, though. That's really cool. All right. Next up, we have got uh, my absolute favorite which is Sailor Uranus. Sailor Uranus. Sailor Uranus. Ah. You want me to Sailor Uranus? Dual Twisted's mouth. <laughs> um, hopefully sometime this year I'll be able to cosplay as Sailor Uranus. It, it's, kind of a, it's kind of an unspoken dream of mine. That's, that's what I kind of want. She has two Euro exclusives now. They are... Um, NA versions though. NA versions. What's an NA version? I don't know what that is. So of course with Sailor Moon stuff, you can get all the other sailors. Sailor Chubby Moon, Sailor Pluto, Sailor Neptune, Sailor Saturn. Anything you want for Sailor Moon. Tukaki's butthole didn't accept the fight. <laughs> So, let's find out what this lady's worth. But yeah, I'd like to cosplay as Sailor Uranus sometime this year. It's 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 kind of a goal. Maybe for uh, Halloween. She is trending at nine whole doll hairs. So, I, I, think, I think I paid at least ten for her, though. Pretty sure. Twisted's mouth hole. Alright, let me borrow this here. Too cocky's butthole didn't respond. <laughs> Uh, all right. Next, we got a little bit of a fun one. This was a Walgreens exclusive double pack of the Million Dollar Man and IRS. Erring, Rothing, Schwarzinger, or some shit like that. I can't even remember his name. But yeah, Irv Irwin or Irving or something like that. Like, IRS actually stood for a dude's name. But yeah, he was the Million Dollar Man's tag team partner. Could not pass on the Million Dollar Man with the million dollar belt around his waist. IRS with the damn briefcase. I.R. Schwarzer. Okay, Irwin. Okay. Thank you, Listwitz. I appreciate that, man. I never would have remembered that. Um, I meant they have North American version, too. Well, I want the North American. I want the French version. I want it. It's all in French on the back. Like, it says, wee, 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 Eiffel Tower, all that. That's what I want. Um, I don't want it. I'm just, I'm just kidding. Uh, but if I was going to buy one, that's what I would want. Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, Walgreens exclusive. This is a dual pack, and I know I bought it straight up, which means I didn't wait for a deal or anything. So I probably paid $18 for it. And my guess is um, it's not a very big high seller, so it's probably not worth a whole bunch. And, of course, the damn UPC did not go through. Million Dollar Man, come on. Mound pop, there it is. Uh, fourteen bucks for the dual pack. Like that's not even ten bucks a pop. Like these are definitely not even ten bucks a pop. That's very sad. Uh, what's going on, Balish? How you doing, buddy? Appreciate you stopping in tonight, man. We're we're doing a, a makeup show for. Well, I'm sorry, um, Balish. It's good to see you on a Sunday. Today is Sunday, Balish. It's great to see you. Sunday. Ignore that, whatever that was earlier that I was trying to say. Just ignore that. Uh, scan your Ric Flair for WWE. I did. That was the first one I ever put in here. And it says no value whatsoever. However, I did look at it on eBay. It's a, it's ballpark around 100. So um, I've got my DBIC IRS doing staring in front of me from the top of my computer. Again, it's it's not even worth the box that it's in. So... You might as well just open it and enjoy it. All right, next up, we have got the 2018 Spring Convention Funko Exclusive Yondu. This is the going in for the I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. Of course, the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. He's got the, uh, the whistle arrow and all that. Nothing much. Just got back from the gym. Working out on a Sunday. Hell yeah, Balish. Might as well open. You know me. I open everything. You know what I'm talking about, like in general. But yeah, the Yondu, um, actually a friend of mine actually got this for me. I mean, I had to pay full price. 
But uh, it's still pretty awesome because I, I could not have got this. There was no way. I don't have the time. But yeah, this is the, the Mary Poppins. Uh, good to see you, Balish. How's everything going for you? All right, let's find out what uh, Yondu is worth. Yondu is trending at $42. I think I paid $20. I, I want to say I paid $20, $22, something like that. So there is a win. Tonight, we have showed, I don't know, 20 pops so far, and only two of them are worth more than what I paid. <laughs> Damn. Again, always, always collect what you love. Never collect for value. This is proof in the damn pudding tonight. I don't know why you got proof in pudding, but there it is. Not bad, just living life. Hell yeah, man. Are you blasting off tonight? Or are you keeping it chill? All right, next up, this is the exclusive Marvel Collector's Corp, which was a box that you would buy. You get a t-shirt. It's very similar to Loot Crate. But the way they rolled it, sometimes they would throw exclusive pops in it, including the fucking Hobgoblin, which I was unable to get because I don't subscribe to their damn boxes. This one I was. This is Iron Man Tales of Suspense number 39. This one's pretty damn cool. Definitely one that I really, really enjoy. I am uh, just... Pack one, yeah, buddy. I figured you were, and that's all good. Make sure you enjoy yourself. Tales of Suspense, Iron Man. So this is based off the original comic book, not off the movie itself. So, yeah, but pretty awesome. And I know that these sometimes some of these can be exclusive and rare, but I don't know what this one goes for. So we'll find out. Good. Barcode. There's no barcode. There is no barcode on this. Make me type it in. Whoa! Black Metal Werewolf! Appreciate that. Um, Iron Man. Great name, by the way. I really appreciate that follow. I need to get a, a following chart up here or something because I, I, I'm not keeping track of it. I didn't think anybody was going to watch the show, so... <laughs> Um, all right, scanning. There it is, right there. Believe it or not, Tales of Suspense number 39 Iron Man is only going for 15 bucks. So if you're an Iron Man completionist, this one is uh, pretty damn simple to get. $15. I think I paid 20 Uh Thanks, that's quite the collection you got there. Very, very cool. Appreciate it, man. I've been collecting for a while. Like, this did not just grow overnight, but... Um, it's, it's sort of a sad pride, but I, I think that I have at least one of everything. Like, there's a lot, and this is, like, what you're seeing in this shot is, like, 25, 30% of the collection. Like, this is a fraction of it, sadly. But I appreciate, the, I appreciate you stopping in, man. I like the name. All right, moving on. Next, we have uh, Stranger Things, and this is Ghostbusters Dustin. I actually have all of them, and I don't know if I grabbed all of them tonight or not. I just... I grabbed a pile, I pushed them in here, and the show started. That's pretty much how it works. But yeah, Stranger Things, amazing show. I mean, it really, it's one of those pivotal things of the reason to have Netflix is for Stranger Things. By the way, I want my damn Stranger Things Netflix. Put it up there. I'm tired of waiting. They belong in October. I didn't get one in October. I'm angry. Where's my Netflix? I mean, where's my where's my Stranger Things? Hey oh, What's going on, El Morto? Appreciate you stopping back in, buddy. Good to see you. Make sure you guys check out El Morto, fantastic gamer and amazing artist as well. So these are the other ones. Um, you got Max, of course, all the guys in Ghostbusters, Eleven, and Joyce. There actually is an Eleven that I do. I have um, the regular Eleven from the first wave with the waffles. Uh, but they actually make a new Eleven where she's actually like floating and, and got her hand up. It looks badass. So that's on the to get pop list. There we go. All right, let's find out what old Dustin is going for. Do you, uh, do you collect anything, Black Metal? Do you collect anything at all? What's your nerd, man? Nine dollars. Nine whole dollars. This guy has shit ton of toys. Just don't ask for Wanda. Well, Side Sheep actually made her return tonight, so she does have the Wandas back in the... Uh... Mm. 
Wow, Cook It with Shay Shy, rating with 13. I really appreciate you guys coming in. But honestly, compared to Shay Shy, this show is craptacular. Um, how did the uh, presidential cake come out? Was it pretty good? Uh, there we go. Dustman added. Uh, Shay, thank you so much for that raid. Um, it's awesome. And uh, you gotta you gotta like stream tomorrow night to make up for me not being there. What's going on, DL? Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. I have 11 pops in box, one Dorbs, and five out of the box. I have like a hundred out of the box. <laughs> not bragging. I'm just I'm I'm happy for your collection because I wish I had that little. Um, Pop Vault chest pie looks pretty great. Make sure you post a picture. Like, like the pop collection got out of hand, I want to say two years ago, at least. Like, it got way out of hand. Um, all right. This was actually the shirt. Tonight's Sunday. This was actually the shirt that I'm going to wear tomorrow. So this is a future thing. By the way, tomorrow we're going to wear a Powerline shirt. And these are the handcuffs. So if you guys are into some kinky stuff, we've got some handcuffs for you. But this is on Monday show. Today is Sunday. Get your facts straight. I don't know where to put these. <laughs> um, no, I need more. No, you don't. Movies, music, video games, books, and fun codes. I was able to acquire a Red She-Hulk and a Kuchsaki. What? What? What is the? What, what's the K word from? Is that Dragon Ball? Uh, Stranger Things season three, spring. It should be now. No, you don't need any more. That Technodrome behind you looking smexy. Yes, it is. Oh, Fatality. Thank you, buddy. Great to see you. Wait, what? I don't know. Um, let's see here. Nerd Effect Pop Vault Spring is sponsored clearly Clear Canadian and Moon Pies. Did we travel back in time? Is that C money? Appreciate that C money. But yes, uh, put them in your butt. Fact that it happens on the late late show. Yes, today is Sunday. Tomorrow's Monday. Uh, but yeah, tomorrow on Monday, I'll be wearing the Goofy Movie Powerline t-shirt. That's, of course, Powerline Hot Topic exclusive. Um, one of my all-time favorite movies ever. The soundtrack is absolutely killer. You need to watch this. Stop watching Teen Titans Go the Cartoon and watch a Goofy Movie. Throw that stuff up. It's my birthday. It's true. It's true. It's true. Yeah, so Powerline Pop. Anybody that's just joining us, this is not... Normal nerdy effect. This is only Sunday is when we do the pop vault. Monday and Friday we do actual nerd talk where it's just you know stuff behind me, things like that. There's a lot in here. Uh, Wednesdays is comic. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is wrestling. So there's if you don't like something here, there's a lot. I'm lost with the Sunday morning, Sunday Monday thing. All right, see money straight up. This show is usually on Sunday, but last night I did not do a show, so this is my makeup show. So that's why we're pretending that it's Sunday <laughs> for the people that watch this later. Uh, that room is drool-worthy. Uh, that's why we have carpet. Uh, feel free to drool. Um, so what, what do you collect, C-Money? All right, let's find out what the um, what power line is worth. So what, what it is is I have a lot of pops, and I sort of just... I let it get out of control. It's very out of control. There's there's over 400 pops. And I don't know what pops I have. So when I'm out looking for something, sometimes I'll double buy things. And it gets sad. So I'm, I've got this app called Stashpedia where I'm logging in all my pops. And that way I, have an, like, I know what I have. I can check. That way I don't double buy anymore. And it gives me something else to talk about. She's the spirit mouth lady malevolent figure appearing in Japanese ghost stories. That's interesting. I have never I've never seen the name before. That's very interesting, man. I need to look that I'm gonna look that up a little bit later. That's awesome. Um, no, it's not my birthday. We know it's not. Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, Batman, Wonder Woman, and Harry Potter. Just everything or just like fun co stuff, see man. Just just anything Nightmare Before Christmas. Because Wal Walgreens uh, around Christmas time and uh, Halloween came out with these awesome, awesome figures by uh, Diamond Select. They were like, I want to say $12. I got m most of them. They are fan damn tastic. So if you have a Walgreens, man, I highly suggest checking that out. All right, so Powerline Pop from a Goofy Movie is only $16. Now that's trending price, 
for $16. So if you're into the Goofy movie, want the power line pop, chances are you'll probably pay around $16. bucks. i am a Leo. That's true. It's true. It is. All right. So he has added in there. Uh, Aladdin. What? I have very few pops. I have the Pumpkin King pop and the Cosmia Natchez pop from Orphan Black. Ah, I got a couple Orphan Black um, comic books. Double buy things. Well, you could send some of those to Mexico. I'm not against it. Drool on the carpet. Wait, what was that? Hang on. Drool on the carpet. That's the woman's job to do. Damn it. Watch out. Bang, bang. Uh, Virgo me. Um, yeah, it's, uh, don't, stay away from pops. I, I, I recommend it. Like, like, just stay the hell away from pops, man. Because once you pop, it's hard to stop. Uh, Tukaki has challenged the entire chat. Um... Those are tough to come by, apparently. They were only in Tokyo Con. There's also the Filipino mythical creatures. Duh. All right, you're breaking me now because now I want this stuff, and now it's just going to add more to it. Oh, that's awesome, man. That, that's really cool. i got to look that up. All right, next we've got the Hot Topic exclusive Medic from Fallout. Oh, and these are in no random order. Um, Filipino. No, settle down. Whoa. Breaking out the 300 Wandas with some praise durst and some candle blowing. Damn it, Cooking with Shay Shy. Make sure you guys follow Cooking with Shay Shy. Do not go in that show hungry. I swear to you, it doesn't matter what's going on. If you go in there hungry, you're going to go find yourself raiding right the fridge because it is amazing food. Uh, go in there, drop her a follow, drop her a subscription. You're not going to be wrong. Make sure you go check her out. Um, I have 10 Game of Thrones pops. Damn it, man. Praise durst. That's true. So then we got the uh, Hot Topic exclusive metal, oh, uh, Medic from Fallout, uh, wow, totally broken, from Fallout 4. These actually came in mystery boxes. So you would buy them and anything from Hot Topic usually is $14 to $16 straight up. You're not going to pay the 8 or 10 And uh, you may get one you want, you may not. It's That's the thing of the mystery thing. Um, but yeah, so this is the Medic. And, of course, you've got the Charisma, the Adamantium Skeleton, the Toughness, and the Medic. And we've got the... We showed the Charisma already early tonight. And let's find out what this bastard, which is probably going to be worth like two and a half dollars or something. <laughs> the entire chat. Um, state of this bloke. What's going on, Tuffy? <laughs> What's going on, Tuffy? Welcome to Nerdy Fact. Good to see you. Hope you had a fantastic uh, Sunday. Because today is Monday. Scan, fucker. Thank you. Trending value on this guy, which I know I paid at least fourteen, is six dollars. Like that's not even worth the plastic it's made of. What is the point of that? The entire chat did not accept it. Ooh, Dragon King Bloody Red is going for five hundred. Damn, damn. Wow. So far, I think the most valuable pop that I have is the, the Ric Flair pop that came with the WWE 2K19 game. I think it is. Wait, it's Monday? Illusion broken. It's Monday. No, today is Sunday. Tukaki has recovered. All right, next up, we've got... Oh, here we go. Another hot... It, it comes in waves. Part one was all Target exclusives, and this one seems to be all Hot Topic exclusive. Damn it! Fluctuate. That's awesome. I don't know how to spell fluctuate, but I think that that's right. Fluctuate. Thank you so much for that follow. I really appreciate it. Respectful. I like that. Respectful is a great name. So, Hot Topic exclusive. The Zebra and Bullseye Batman. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Fluctuates here. Yeah, fluctuate and respect. That is the greatest WCW tag team in the history of wrestling. Fluctuates about to get tagged in. Oh my God, Respectful is now in. It's back and forth. It's back. It's a hell of a slobber knocker. Anyway, so yeah, the Hot Topic exclusive Batman and Zebra Bullseye. Just, I mean, just odd ass names, but yeah, I was. When this came out, I was like really, really craving some Batman. And then I realized that all they do is just repaint it and charge even more. <laughs> Drool! Uh, best put some respect on fl fluctuate. Yeah. 
Um, so on the bottom, and I know that I paid retail, it says $24 I paid for this. Um, there's no way that that is worth anywhere close to $24. No way. All right, so the Bullseye and Zebra Batman is trending at 15 bucks. $15, that's it. And I know I paid 24 That's That's standard rule of thumb. You know, that's how it always is. Collect what you love. Do not collect for value. This is proof right here. 15 bucks. Balls for 20 I think it has to be a minimum of 100 to do it. I think so, but I don't know. Um, if your ball's too cocky, is fluctuating, man. It smells like burnt porcupine meat. Settle down, fatality. I told you, use lubricant. So there we go. So that's the thing. If you guys are into pops, now is the time to pounce on them because, like, these right here, most of these are not worth a whole lot. So you can get them for much cheaper than someone like me who is very impulsive and buys them straight off. So this is when you want to do it. All right. Next up, this is the last two-pack of the night. This is a Target exclusive, the Sandlot. Of course, Squints and Windy Peppercorn. If you guys do not know this movie, you need to stop watching some damn Teen Titans Go and go watch the Sandlot right now because Squints pulls a hell of a trick, especially on Windy Peppercorn. Because, damn. K.Y. Mustard. Oh, really? Real? K.Y. Mustard? Really, bro? Really? <laughs> <laughs> KY Spicy Mustard. Uh, the Sandlot. That's right. Sandlot. I thought this was awesome. And this one, I think, was only like $14, maybe $16. It wasn't very expensive because it's Target. Whereas Hot Topic thinks their shit doesn't stink. So everything's up there. Uh, why do you hate Teen Titans? Because it's always on. Always on. If it's not if it's not Adult Swim, it's Teen Titans Go. Uh, Sandlot was, was partially, if not fully filmed, where I am in Utah. Interesting. I did not know that. I do love the Sandlot, though. I did not get any of the other Sandlot pops that came out. They actually make a Beast Chase pop where he's wearing the jersey at the end of the show, at the end of the movie. Um, but yeah, I did not get any of the other ones. I didn't get Smalls, so I can say you're killing me Smalls and throw them against the room. Nothing. These are the only two that I picked up from that. Let's find out what this fella is going for. They had seven kids. It's true. It's true. Wow, really, camera? There we go. This is trending at $15. See, I doubled down on the work for you guys. Not only do I show you the pops, I also tell you the value, or trending value, rather. So there we go, 15 bucks. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I have a homeboy that looked like ham. <laughs> um, I was recently at the Funko store. They had Notorious B.I.G. in display case selling over $600. Do you think it's worth that? Um, no, I don't. I, I really don't. I, for the me, for the most part, man, like, I just say make a pop. Why put one in a different sweater and charge more for it? Like, Beanie Babies were a thing, and anybody that believes that Funko Pops are going to retain their value for the rest of toy history is seriously mistaken. Beanie Babies are the biggest thing. Right now, Funko Pops are just massive. They are making so many and so much money, and there's always like a new genre that's coming out for them to capitalize on. So right now is the time to buy if you like them, but they're going to hit the Beanie Baby explosion where people are going to be like, you can't even give them away. Uh, what's going on, Christoph? Great to see you, buddy. Appreciate you stopping in tonight, man. Fatality Pop coming soon. No, you should not pay any more than... 15 to 20 bucks for a pop. Hands down. Like, like legit. Alright, the next is the Fall Convention 2017 Fall Convention exclusive. The first Doctor from Doctor Who. And to my knowledge, this is the only time that they actually made this Doctor. They made several Tenants, several Smiths, several Capaldis. Um, they made a couple of Tom Bakers. But the first Doctor, this is the only version of him that I know that they have. Here's some of the other ones that came out with this line. Uh, Tenth Doctor with Han, uh, Clever, Eleventh, the Guitar One, the War Doctor, Davros, Rory, Clara, and Amy. But yeah, this is the only one that I know that they made of the first Doctor right there. Um, I have my own folks, sorry. What? I don't know what you're talking about. I missed something. 
Good to see you too, my brother. How are things? Yeah, we've got this, um, as you can see, the jizz bots rolling up there, man. We've got um, mini games that people can play. Boss, Heist, and Duel are the ones that you can play. Um, I have my own pop already, folks. I do too. He's actually right here, peeking out right there. Yeah, first doctor. All right, let's find out what this fella's going for. Apparently, I paid 15 bucks for him. This is back in 2017. Whoa. <laughs> that is the first time that that one has ever went off. Um, I just recently made it, and like I think that when the 10 month stuff was rolling around, I didn't have it ready yet. Damn it, Kristoff. Congratulations, dude. All right, so this one actually is a value for me. I paid on the bottom $15 right there. And it's actually worth $37. Not bad. Not bad. Five, okay, so that's three wins out of these 30 damn pops. I've got three that actually have some values. Wow. I am shocked at that. Uh, Christoph in my pants. Oh, yeah. And the crowd goes wild. Yeah, that's the first time. That's the first time it's ever played. Winning. And I want to do one for every month. That's, that's an eventual coming. Um, or maybe like maybe three months and on. So yeah, uh, but I want to do. I need to get one for a year because my year on Twitch is finally getting around here, and there are people who've been supporting me for that long, and we need to get something cool for them. Uh, but yeah, so there we go. Thirty-seven dollars. That's a win, um, at least in my book. We got a few more to go. All right. Next up is Ghostbusters Lucas, right there, because he is. What did he want to be? Egon, I think it was. I think it was Egon. I can't remember. I can't see the thing. But yeah, Stranger Things, Ghostbusters, Lucas. I do have all four of them, but I don't think I grabbed all four of them. So we'll have to wait till next Sunday, which is a full week from right now, for the next Pop Vault. <laughs> and maybe we'll pull them out. Maybe we won't. I, I don't know where he lies. Another reason why I'm doing this, so I can kind of keep these in order, too. Uh, Christoph, it's Sunday, man. What are you going to do tomorrow on Monday? Of course, these are some of the other ones that come with this line. And I, I think I have the max as well. All right, let's find out what Ghostbuster Lucas is going for. And he is going for a whopping nine dollars. All right, added to the collection. Next up, oh yes, oh yes, this one. This is Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Now, I know they've made a couple of these. They made an orange dress. I think there's a red dress. Um, yeah. So, But yeah, you have to have some Elvira. You got to have some Elvira in your life. If you're too young to know who Elvira is, Google it. Watch some of that stuff. Dude, Elvira was just amazing, especially when I was growing up. That was like the height of her popularity. You know, she would be like in the late night monster movies and things like that. And, um, oh, dude. Dude, pale and dark hair. Pfft, that's my thing. So I missed that. Today is Sunday. Can you tell me the lottery numbers for Monday night? We don't have lottery Monday night in America. Uh, the coolest Funko I've got is Jack Torrance from The Shining in the Frozen position. That's Is that the Chase version? I think that's the Chase version. Uh, mm, that's my wife. She still looks the same. She looks pretty close. She was on... Um, counting cars a couple of years ago to get one of her cars fixed up and dude like Elvira would still be top the list man there you go that's how she would pose she would pose this and talk to you like late late nights on Saturday night while watching old school uh monster movies you know she'd be like hello my lovelies so of course I I'd like she is just she's part of my upbringing, Elvira. All right, let's find out what Elvira's worth. And I know the orange one's worth so much more than this. Wow. That can't be right. Trending value for this one is 40. Dude, why? I mean, I love Elvira, but they said trend. Like, this isn't even a chase or anything. This is $40. Wow. Wow. Four wins tonight, y'all. Feel like Shay Shy, y'all. DL's already gone. She didn't hear it. Uh, Bragging met her at a con. Damn it. I have never met Elvira. I want to. 
Uh, Melvario, what's going on, Drew Mega? Great to see you. Lady C is the way to be. Oh, with a hashtag hi this time. I'm not even standing up. Plus, I'm not allowed to stand up. No pants. $20 each boob. Dude, I'm shocked. I am super shocked that she is worth 40 damn dollars. I should probably treat her a little bit better. Sup, Walrus? All right, just a few more. This one is probably one of the heaviest damn pops I've ever felt in my life. This is a single pop. Disney's Aurora. And this is the BAM exclusive. BAM stands for Books a Million. Uh, Books a Million exclusive. And look at that. Her whole dress on the bottom is like clear and see-through. I don't know why it's so heavy, but like this thing weighs at least two pounds. Like this is a heavy. See, Drew Mega, that's what I was just talking about. Like I grew up watching the monster movies with Elvira. I can't remember the name of the show, but dude, super big crush on Elvira. 100%. El Muato still hanging out. Um, take her to the Sizzler like a gentleman. Yep. Of course, these are some of the other Disney princesses. Yeah. Can't beat that one. This is BAM exclusive. Watch this one. Apparently, I paid $13 for it. Watch this one not even be in the damn system just because it's BAM. So I paid $13 for it. Trending is $15. I kind of count that as a win, but not really. Not really. Hello again, Delvey Pants. How are you doing tonight, Delve? How's everything going? How's life? Um, hi, Red and Morto. A teenage boy, all teenage boys had crushing on, Elv on Elvira for some reason. Well, like, the thing is, she was, like, very, very confident, too. Like, I mean, she had confidence, but she was very, very confident with what she was presenting. Absolutely. Aurora is Cinderella. No. <laughs> Dude, how big is your pop collection? That's what we've came here to ask. Um, like, that's why I'm doing this. This is only episode two or part two of the Pop Vault. The reason is, is every Sunday night, because today is Sunday, I am showing a portion of my pops. I am scanning them into this app called Stashpedia. And that way I can keep track of what I have and um, know exactly how many I do. Because I believe it's like 400 at least. Um, it's super big. No, Aurora is Sleeping Beauty. Um, where do you get the pricing? Just curious. It, it's, it's called Stashpedia. It's an app on your phone and you can, you can automatically type it in or you can scan the barcodes and, uh, it automatically does it all. Like right now I'll show you, uh, collection here. So right now it shows that I have 51 scanned items. Three have no estimated value. And of my 51, excluding the three, my total pop value is $730, even though I know I spent way more than that. Way more than that. Sleeping Beauty has black hair. Really, Twisted? Really? You're, you're going to argue with me on this? You're thinking of Snow White. <laughs> somebody, somebody send Twisted to the damn uh, spanking machine, all right? 400 I think so. I don't know. That's why I'm doing this. I know that it's over 300 um, Snow White has black hair. Thank you, C-Money. C-Money, the second you popped in here, I knew. I knew you're just one of those smart people. Uh, unlike Twisted, who's like going to argue when he has Google in front of him. Absolutely spank him. See, Balish? All right, we got a few more to go. Uh, Stranger Things, Ghostbuster Mike. So the one that we're missing is Will. Apparently Will is the one I didn't pick up yet. So yeah, Ghostbusters Mike. The other ones were worth $9. Twisted, that's a pattern. Cinderella had black hair here. <laughs> Aurora is Cinderella, Cinderella though. Nine bucks. Nine bucks. All right. We're getting close to the end tonight. Like... I would like to grab 30, but I don't think I grabbed 30 tonight. So we're getting close to it, though. All right, the next one, again, Hot Topic. Hot Topic Beetlejuice. Now, this is not the original Beetlejuice that came out. The original one, I think he was, like, glowing. This is the one where, like, he takes over what's-his-face. Like, he's not, even, he's not even in the suit. Nice. Yeah, I do, like, I guess Beetlejuice is considered horror. I guess. 
So I don't have a whole lot of the horror genre pops. There's, there's a few of them that I saw and I just passed. But I like this. There's nothing else with this one. It's just straight up Beetlejuice. Collect the entire line of Funko Pops. Boom, right there. Ha ha ha. Let's find out what old Beetlejuice is from, or uh, worth. And apparently they're supposed to be making a Beetlejuice 2. With Michael Keaton and all that. So this fella, oh, it's called Adam's Clothes. Okay, so this is Beetlejuice and Adam's Clothes, even though it doesn't show that anywhere. Uh, 15 doll hairs. 15 solid doll hairs. I wonder if that's like Barbie doll hairs or not. I don't know. All right, now I've only got four left, and I've got to choose which one is the final one to show. It will not be this one, which is the specialty series, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Leatherhead. Leatherhead is actually on this shelf back here, the original toy. Then who the hell is Cinderella? Cinderella is her name. Snow White is Snow White's name. Pocahontas is Pocahontas' name. I like how I do, like, pop talk, and now we're talking Disney princesses. Which you should know this, Twisted. So this is from the original TMNT line. There they are right there. And I never did pursue the Bebop and Rocksteady, the Foot Soldier, or April, and I really, really wish that I did. I wish that I would have pursued those. But all right, let's find out what old Leatherhead is doing. Um, yeah, see, money man, I do this. Um, I do this show five, six nights a week, twice on Wednesday. Um, so there, if you're not catching nerdy effect, you're not trying. You know, I'm I'm always on at night, except for on Saturday night. And sometime Saturday night, I'm on or Saturday, I'm on. So yeah, Leatherhead is only worth twelve dollars. I know I bought this at a comic shop, so I probably paid way more than that just because it's Leatherhead. And I absolutely love TMNT, as you can see back here. Um, Idol too cocky. What? Uh, what was that? Uh, should and rightly so, seeing how I freaking have every damn Disney movie and been to Disney World more than any homosexual male. Uh, <laughs> damn. Uh, oh, look at all the points right there, man. All right. We've got three left. Let's do the Target exclusive Gizmo Duck. Again, one of those, you know, grow, growing up shows, man. DuckTales. Uh, let's, 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 let's sing it here. Life is like a hurricane here in Duckburg. Race cars, lasers, airplanes. It's a duck blur. Might solve a mystery. Or rewrite history, DuckTales. Woo! <laughs> you said it too early. Did someone say Bukaki? Hell yeah, we did. Uh, Sigh, the only Darkwing I don't have. Well, um, I mean, technically he's more DuckTales than Darkwing, but he did cameo on there, so you're right. There we go, woo! <laughs> so yeah, Gizmo Duck, Target, Target exclusive. See, uh, Liswitz, that's the thing, man. We may scan him, and he may be scanning for like $12, and then you can just go get your damn own. Uh, I said it, then I realized I should have typed it. Yeah, I mean, they just, they don't make... Those, those kind of songs anymore. They just don't. Like, they're so catchy. They're stuck in your head. Doesn't matter. Whenever you start that, people automatically know where you're going. And don't get me wrong. Treasure the Lost Lamp is still one of those amazing movies. 15 bucks right there. Target exclusive Gizmo Duck trending at $15. So go get you on list, Wits. Uh, DuckTail. Thank you, Tandis. Thank you, Tandis. See? Very simple. See, there you go. Thinking 150. No, not in this collection. They're not gonna be worth no 150. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, see, money man. Like on Mondays and Fridays, we talk about like everything nerd related. I usually have toys and stuff that I picked up throughout the week. You know, it can be Marvel. Like it's it's usually not pops, but it's like just action figures. You know, just the general stuff that's behind me. You know, there's there's a lot. 
it's that kind of stuff. And then on Wednesdays, we talk about comic books. It's nothing but comic books. Uh, Sundays, which is today, is usually pops. It'll pretty much always be pops until I run out of it. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday is wrestling. You never know. It's true. All right. So the next one, 2017 Summer Convention Exclusive TMNT Baxter Stockman. Damn, got me twice. Um, I won't give him the satisfaction of having my woohoo in chat. <laughs> but yeah, Baxter Stockman. I think it's awesome. This is one I always wanted to open just because of the wing display. Wait a second. Isn't today Monday? No, today's Sunday. Balish. Balish. Uh, Night, Night King. What is today? Oh, now you stay blurry? What is today, Balish? I'd ask Twist if he'd probably say like Thursday or something because he thinks Cinderella is Aurora. Um, it was Drew Mega, but we sold it for a pop. <laughs> what? No, it's Sunday, Drew. See? Look, right there, Drew. Red Walrus said it. Drew Mega. I mean, uh, Night King. See? See? Twisted Nose. All right. So, there we go. Brockster Stockman. <laughs> If you guys don't know, now you don't know. All right. And then we've got one more pop after this. It's made in China. There was one I scanned earlier. It was made in Taiwan. Baxter Stockman trending at $12. It's freaking Wednesday, though. 12 bucks for this guy. So four solid wins tonight, which isn't bad. You know, you don't, I don't expect the pops to retain what I paid. And I don't expect them to sell for thousands and thousands of dollars. It just doesn't happen. It's not... It's not feasible to think that way. When you collect stuff, and believe me, I know what collections talk about. You need to collect for you. Always collect for you. Never collect because you think it's going to be valuable. All right, and the final pop tonight on Sunday's Pop Vault Part 2. Uh, I don't go outside anymore. I'm so confused. Is the Toys R Us exclusive Guardians of the Galaxy Star-Lord Volume 2. So yeah, this is the mass version with one gun and the chest plate. Believe me, because I have a lot of these damn Star Lords, you got to start telling the damn difference. These are some of the other ones with part two. Taser, your name is Taser Face. <laughs> your name is Taser Face. Yeah, Star Lord. R.I.P. Toys R Us. El Morto understands. He does. He does. Uh, duel. It's Monday. Whatever. Tomorrow's Monday. Yeah, Star Lord, pretty awesome. It's it's a great. This box is in great damn shape too. All right, final pop of the night, and uh, let's see here. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Made in Vietnam, he is worth on a a dying company. Like it's only available a little bit in Canada, and I think there's like one or two overseas. Like. Toys R Us, they're not going to make any of these Star Lord pops. Like, this should be a very, very rare figure. Nope, 12 bucks. And I know I paid more than 12. <laughs> Joke's on me, but really it's Monday. Fuck <laughs> Toys R Us. 12 bucks for Star Lord. I mean, it's not bad, you know. I, I know I paid more, but yeah, it's not bad. You know, it's funny. We, we talked about Toys R Us right before it was about to close, and people were like, Man, you know, it's just sad because, I mean, you, it's sad because of the memories. It's sad because of the commercials and the toys that you associate whenever you're growing up. But in reality, Toys R Us was ruining itself. Most things inside of Toys R Us, and I'll give you Marvel Legends, for example, were more expensive than they were at Walmart. Like, why are you doing that? When you can get stuff off of Amazon for $5 cheaper than you can to driving to Toys R Us, and they still have high skyrocketed prices, it just didn't make sense. It's just bad business. It makes me sad that Toys R Us is gone, but they ran themselves out of business because I wasn't shopping there anymore because it was too damn expensive. Now, with Toys R Us exclusive things, then of course you have to, but chances are you can get those things off of eBay and save your gas money. So they kind of did their own thing. I'm a loser, baby. Uh, Pop Vault is always on Sunday, Drew. So it's Sunday. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, the Durst finally settles into cocky... Em the Durst. Press Durst! Oh, man. I refuse to accommodate day changes. It messes with my cognitive balance. Oh, damn. All right, so let me go back. Let me do a quick update here. All right, so my collection, as of right now, 
has a total of 57 items in it. It has three items that have no estimated value, which means there's no training, trending value for it. So they have no information. Uh, for a total of $805 with 57 pops is worth $805 if I was to sell it outright. So I don't know. You may need it sometime. Who knows? So there you go. Um, <laughs> Durst for Prez. There you go. I bought a lot taboo there for 20 bucks and stream the night on YouTube. Uh, got banned. I bought a loot taboo there for 20 bucks and streamed that night on YouTube and got banned. So wait a minute. So what I'm guessing is, is that's a game like a board game, you bought a board game, streamed it, and got banned, and you're blaming the place you purchased it from? It's like Toys R Us just followed you home and like, wait till he streams, and we're all going to get together and ban Really? That's, okay, okay. I mean, that's fine. I went with like actual motivation for purchasing things, like even for like nieces and nephews or something. But no, no, you go for... Buying an item. I mean, that's that's like me like suing Starbucks because their coffee gave me diabetes. Like I'm the one that bought it. I'm the one that drank it. What 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 blast off, Balish? Uh scary when I look at my current list on pop price guide. When did I spend this much money on myself? <laughs> that's all I got, bro. This is like I understand. Like you're talking to it. Toy boat. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. And then he's like, absolutely. <laughs> uh, I guess that word is adult. Adult taboo. And then you got banned. <laughs> you know I love you, Ballas. You know I do. <laughs> Don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> oh, man. Well... It's been an absolute fun ride tonight. I appreciate you guys tuning in on this Sunday. I almost I almost winked with both eyes. That means that I'm tired. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate you guys tuning in. We're testing out the new layout for things, you know, because I, I do want to make this a Sunday tradition because at the rate that I'm at, I'm only doing roughly 30 pops a night and we've got 400. We're going to be here a while because I'm not going to stop buying pops. I'm just going to stop buying them at the mass that I was buying where it's like six a week. You know, that's, that's a lot of damn pops. I mean, that's not even $60. That's like $90, depending on if I get a rare one or not. Um, it's not more like suing the car brand that you drove to Starva. Uh, you're right. Yeah, that's you're exactly right. I, I take that back. I take it back. Yeah. It's like, you see this Lincoln Continental that I bought? I'm suing it. Why? Because Starbucks made me have diabetes. What? <laughs> Red in his damn Canadian logic. All right, guys. Let me see. Let me see here. Let me see who's going on here. Um, all right. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna do it. We're going to do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and all you fan damn people out there, that is all for me tonight on this uh, Pop Vault. We're learning. Uh, don't forget that tomorrow is a regular Nerdy Effects show. Don't miss it because we will be talking about literal handcuffs tomorrow. Make sure you check out the Nerdy Effect because these are literal handcuffs. And do not forget to check me out on Tuesday for some SCW wrestling action. SCW will be back in action. Um, I believe the Night King pop goes for a lot. I need one. I need one. It was a fun night, El Morto. I appreciate you tuning back in, dude. It's always a pleasure to see you. Uh, make sure you guys check out El Morto. Fantastic artist. I'm going to send you guys over to Metal Mogwai. Uh, make sure you guys, um, follow the host. Always follow the host. Lady C is the way to sleep. Um, or substitute hand job, perhaps. Ah, oh, perhaps. I have to widen the thumbs, but yeah. Uh, Two Cocky's trying to duel me. Settle down, Two Cocky. Uh, all right, guys, make sure you follow the host. Check out Metal Mogwai. Tell her Nerdy said hi. Don't forget the raid. I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Nerd Circle. <laughs>